Welcome. In this lecture, we're going to talk about what the second derivative can tell us about concavity. And so, let's uh, go ahead and get started. So, suppose that I have, um, so I've got the second derivative of a function f, and I have, I'm just trying to decide what color I wanted to do my function in. Uh, so, let's start with a situation where the second derivative of this uh, is going to be greater than zero. Okay, so when the second derivative, so this is the first circumstance. Uh, and then the second circumstance that we'll go through is where the second derivative uh, is less than zero. Right, and so I'm looking at an interval on which it's true. Okay, so we're supposing this is happening um, on some kind of interval. So. Both of these things are happening on some kind of uh, interval um, a, b. So it kind of doesn't really, really matter um, whether I make it uh, closed or not, because right at the edge of it is it's kind of a different circumstance. OK, so let's first look at this one. So what happens when we have this? Uh, so this is a concave up situation. And I'll draw a picture of that. So this is concave up. So our graph is going to end up being concave up. So maybe actually let's, let's do that green because it's a graph which is ending up concave up. The graph of f is concave up. So we'll make that green because it's going to correspond to what it looks like in the graph. Um, and the way to kind of picture that, so I like to, uh, right, so concave up is like a, a smiley face. Uh, so usually I actually, why not, get a little bit goofy. So you can kind of picture it as, uh, can, I, can I draw it all? It's, okay, so it's a face, um, kind of, it's a very horrible face. Um, but there it's, it's smiling and this is concave up. And let's look at an example because maybe that will illuminate a little bit. So if I'm looking at... So let's look at the function uh, y equals x squared, okay? Um, so we have the graph of that. Um, and we have an axis. Right, this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. Right, um, and this is the graph of the function y equals x squared, so I'll draw it and label it. Oops, that should actually you're not supposed to erase with your middle finger that looks bad okay uh, so we have this is y equals x squared so y equals x squared so you can see this is like the typical example because it really looks like that and let's go ahead and take our derivatives okay so for this function if I take uh, so in terms of the derivatives if I have f of x equals x squared Right, then uh, the first derivative is going to equal 2x. And then if I take the second derivative, I'm taking the derivative of this yet again. Right, and so this is actually going to equal 2, right? But 2 is greater than 0, okay? So this tells me like 2 is greater than 0, which tells me that the second derivative is always greater than 0. Okay, so this is telling me that f double prime is greater than zero, right? Um, always, right? So it's concave up always. So uh, f of x equals x squared is concave up always, is concave up. When I say always, I mean for all x. So always, right, or like on every interval, okay? I'm not sure how well you can see these. Is there any way to make that so that you can see them a little bit better? There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that helped. I think it did actually. Great. Okay, so now let's look at the other circumstance. Uh, so the other circumstance is 
Um, this is going to be my concave down circumstance. Uh, so now we're at concave down. Okay, so this is going to look like this. Um, and again, <laughs> uh, uh, so how did I draw? I don't know, what does a person's eyes look like? I don't know how I did there. Okay, um, so uh, this is the concave down circumstance. So it looks like this. And so let's look at our example. We always want an example. And so we're gonna get, uh, let's, it's, this, it's almost the same example, um, but it's just a little bit different. So this is X and then this is Y. This is y, and then we're going to look at the graph. So this is now y equals minus x squared. So this is the graph of y equals minus x squared. Okay, um, and now let's take our derivatives, kind of like we did over there. Um, and we have room to do this here. So we have uh, f of x equals minus x squared. And then I'm going to take the first derivative. So for f prime, make sure to make that a very noticeable prime, uh, that this is going to equal 2x, and then we, sorry, minus 2x, I'm having troubles, um, so if you ever feel bad about making little mistakes, uh, professors do too, so minus 2x, there we go, um, and then we have... So you can have two of these. And so then this is equal to minus two, right? No matter what x I put in. So this tells me that, um, so we have that uh, f, right, double prime of x. Um, so this is always um, less than or less than zero, right? Because it's minus two. So this is always, so it's always less than zero. Right, which tells me that it's concave down always. Okay, so we have that um, uh, f of x equals minus x squared is going to be concave down always, so on every interval. So concave down always, like on every interval, okay. Um, so like on an interval, if you have that the second derivative is positive, you get this uh, concave up picture. Um, and you can kind of see that when I take the second derivative here. And this is a kind of a unique circumstance that it's always the same concavity, but it's a good one to remember the picture for. Um, and then for if it's Concave, if the second derivative is negative, it's concave down, and it looks like that, um, like exactly like this graph, at least like close by. Okay, um, and then there's like this cute little um, way to remember these. So it's, uh, let me write that here. So the cute way to remember these is, so this is concave up past the cup, right, because it looks like a cup, and then... Uh, just like we have our frown here, the cute way to remember this one over here is concave down y the frown. Okay, um, and it's like kind of a, like a rhyme to help you uh, remember that. So, uh, yeah, as we went through, we kind of already re-explained it and recapped it, and then I added that in. Um, but Second derivative positive tells me it's concave up, like where that happens, so if it happens on an interval. Um, second derivative negative um, tells me concave down, um, and you can remember concave, you know, if you're having troubles remembering concave up and concave down, um, then there's a cute little rhyme, concave up past the cup, concave down, 
why the frown um, and f of x equals x squared and f of x equals minus x squared are like perfect pictures to keep in your mind because they're ones that are always the same concavity is really what the concavity looks like, okay? So, I hope that made some sense. And I'll see you in the next lecture.